Hey nerds, welcome to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Theories and Conspiracies. I'm Brian from Good Nerd Bad Nerd. Not too much happened this week as far as hidden easter eggs or name drops that would lead us to different theories about where these season might be going, but we did get three things that we, we kind of need to talk about. So first, Eli Morrow. Eli Morrow is Robbie's uncle. Uh, if you remember from the previous episodes, I talked about him and this is who Robbie gets his powers from. Uh, Eli was a brutal criminal, in the comics anyways. Uh, he was also a devil worshiper, and after he died, he possessed the, the, uh, the Dodge that Robbie drives around, and it is through kind of some sort of um, almost possession of Robbie that Robbie is able to become a ghost rider. Uh, Robbie doesn't know any of this. He doesn't know who or what is giving him his powers, really, until Johnny Blaze shows up. Johnny Blaze is the original Ghost Rider, or at least from the comics, he's the very first Ghost Rider we meet. There were Ghost Riders before him, but uh, as far as Marvel Comics is concerned, he's kind of the, the original Ghost Rider. Um, but the, the, the thing with Eli Morrow is he was a corrupting influence on Robbie, and he was giving him uh, kind of a lust for vengeance, so he was getting excited by it, about hurting people, about seeking vengeance, and through the help of Johnny Blaze and through Robbie's own uh, kind of amazing willpower, he is able to overcome this influence and keep the uh, influence of Eli Morrow kind of uh, pushed down. So that's who the first, uh, really the big name that was dropped. We don't, we haven't met him yet. Apparently he's in jail for a, a crime that he did, but it was a, not, uh, it was kind of like a, he was defending somebody. Robbie makes it sound a lot better than it probably was. So that takes us to number two, the Watchdogs. The Watchdogs are basically the MCU version of the Friends of Humanity or the Purifiers or any number of different kind of mutant hate groups. Because the MCU doesn't have mutants at this point, um, they've created this group, the Watchdogs, who are anti-inhuman. And they kind of sync up pretty closely with these, these groups. Um, they, they have a very kind of KKK appearance, very into kind of subversion and brainwashing and ultraviolence. So that's who the, these guys uh, represent. We don't know much about their leadership yet, but we do know some of the, the high players that are supporting them and getting them kind of information and access to technology. And that takes us to our last thing for this week, and that's number three, Senator Rota Nader. Now, Senator Nader, we don't know really anything about her yet. We know she's outspoken against mutants in a way that uh, people you would see, if you're familiar with the X-Men universe that you saw Senator Kerry, um, he was very outspoken against mutants and she's kind of taken that role with Inhumans in the MCU. Uh, what we also see though is in the very end, she is the one who gave the Watch Dogs access to the technology and to that list, and she's communicating with them directly. And the reason is, is because her brother has the inhuman gene, and he has gone into a cocoon and hasn't emerged yet. So whoever her brother is, this is gonna be very important. Um, I, I feel like he is gonna be someone from the comics. We don't know yet, but it, that, that tease, and it's probably something that's gonna be building to. He's gonna emerge at one point and there's going to be some conflict there but that's who she is we again we don't know much about her yet i can't find anyone from the comics with that name or even that is associated with a group like the watchdogs or you know friends of humanity or purifiers that she uh is close to uh there was a a kind of a cabal of all of these kind of anti-mutant hate groups and there was a character in that group who was a senator but um Elpheus, i believe his name was but he was a senator in ancient Rome, so very different, and he is an immortal kind of vampire-esque creature because of the um, sorceress Selene uh, essentially cursed him. So that's not any way, shape, or form who she is or uh, what she represents, but um, that's the only character in any of these groups that I could find that uh, is a political in any ways like that. So let me know who you guys think she might be or could be a, a parallel for from the comics. What do you guys think is happening? Who do you think her brother could be? Uh, or do you think he's gonna be a brand new inhuman that we haven't seen? Leave me your theories down below. What are you hoping for in the next week when we get the uh, 
the race between uh, Coulson and Robbie. Uh, it, sh it should be fun. I I'm loving the season so far. I love that they've got taken it dark. Ghost Rider has been fantastic, and I love that they are not afraid to show us the special effects on the skull and things like that. So until next week, guys, this has been Brian from Good Nerd, Bad Nerd, and this has been Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Theories and Conspiracies. Thank you.